today I'm going to go over how to clean a pilot assembly and check a thermal couple on a standing pilot gas boiler. But this is the same for any gas appliance that uses a standing pilot. So let's open this up and see what the pilot looks like. Now that pilot looks pretty good. Maybe a little big. Let's, now I can kill it, turn it off on the top. Pilot off. So now let that cool off for a second. What you need to pull it out is a 3 8 for the thermal couple, 7 16 for the larger. You can use flare wrenches if you want. So I'm going to first start right here, loosening the fitting. And usually they're very easy to loosen. Sometimes they're not, but usually they are. Unless somebody cross-threaded or really decided to go overboard with it, it should relatively loosen up with no resistance. Thermal couple is right here. You're not giving a lot of space on this boiler. Let's see. And that was pretty loose. That didn't even really need a wrench. So I'm gonna take that out. Now this easily bends out of the way. This, I'm not gonna put too much pressure on it. burners they lift or push let's see probably both okay pull on the burners so push then lift and let's move this turn it so it comes out okay Oop, off the wire Now it's out. Now to inspect it, this one gets maintenance almost yearly, so. Let's. I'm not seeing a lot of that white powdery mildew on it. So let me remove it. It's two Phillips on here to take this off. So let me take these off. Just way to separate it. And we've had, it looks like, a problem with this thermal couple overheating. I'll show you in a minute, but I may have to recommend replacement. And the pilot flame might be too big and too hot. Because when you got damage on the thermal couple, look at how it's threaded in. I'm wondering if that's even going to come out. It should come out. But that's had problems in the past. Looks like somebody used a top clip to help hold it. Whew. Always something. Always something. So, now let's see how hard this one's going to be to get out. it's cross-threaded or it just overheated and melted I've had that happen let me get a wrench, wrench for that that's gonna be half inch pretty sure that one's a half inch it's just gonna cause problems going into the future so This is an indication my pilot's probably too big. Oh my goodness. <laughs> but it's not going back on. I've had some interesting battles with these. 
Yeah. Okay, I need to hold back on. Now, somebody asked me the reason these fittings are here. That is to hold back. That's 7 16 at the half inch. Okay, so that should be able to hold it. reason for those fittings. Yeah. That's just stripped so I don't know why we're on such a bad angle. I should probably cut the thermal couple out of my way. Okay. Is that what I finally needed? Yeah. See this your pilot is overheating the thermal couple melting it mm. okay so now I came back in let's get this off this is being really stubborn, so it's going to be replaced, so I'm just going to cut it off. Right there, so none of that's in my way. And I'm going to spin this off and out of my way, so I don't damage it while I'm fighting with this thing. There we go, pilot fell right out like it's supposed to. Everybody tells me the pilot won't come out, came right out. When it's maintained yearly, usually they come out. Now, we gotta do something about this. So, this is a nice interesting challenge. I'm just gonna put a little WD into it. Just to help move that pilot out of the way. I gotta clean this off. All that white caking stuff, it'll clean off pretty easy. This on the other hand. Gotta hold back here. Wonder if that is a half inch or was a half inch before it got all deformed. Doesn't matter at all because the half inch holds back here. Now we got to go to the left. Loosen, even though I might be going right, who knows? Boom, there we go. Okay, it's gonna come out now. But usually, this is from overheating that this happens. So, nope, now we're tight again. We're hard to get off. What? <laughs> it's getting there. Hardest part is it's bent. Spray a little bit on there. Let it get into those threads. That's a tough spot to fit it. So I'll go over right here. It's going to come off whether it wants to or not. It's got no choice. I think this is just a maintenance. This is one of those, but it worked fine until you got here. 
And I'm like, yeah, I swapped that thermal couple I had to gain no choice. I mean, what do you do with this? Do you leave it? No. This is what causes these things to burn out faster than they should these thermocouples. Overheating them. So it's hopefully there we go. Hopefully that's it. Okay, it's out. <sighs> Sad part is the tip isn't even that bad. But this piece is like well deformed and whatnot. That's from overheating. They don't bend on their own. <sighs> Alright, so. Let's see. I have anything to wipe my hands yet. Now, my pilot assembly. I can just dry it up a little. I don't need to leave this on here. But every time I do a maintenance, I always pull these out to clean them. Thermocouples are very inexpensive. If there's anything wrong with it, I just swap it. Because no reason to have problems and service calls when it's cold out. Because of a thermocouple. I keep the pilot orifice nice and clean. Like I toss that orifice onto the side. I mean, you could see all that white cake and powdery stuff. And this is what I'm trying to remove. On my maintenance is so yep there it is okay so now we usually just blow it off blow through it and it's clear because it doesn't even see half a pound of pressure. So that's nice and clean now. Ready to go back in. So let's get this all back together. Pop it in. I also, while it's out, like to quickly blow through that. Make sure that's all clean. Last thing you want is service calls on something stupid on a machine that you take care of. You want no service calls. You want to make sure your customer doesn't break down. You want them to operate non-stop. Alright, now let's get this going. I always, let's see, nothing's falling out of them. Looks good. I have two more, but looks good. Take these out real fast. Just to make sure. A little bit. Okay. Last one. Okay. Move that to the side for now. Put these in. You gotta find their spot slide into it so once I get the pilot assembly back together I'll lay on the ground and put that back in need the orifice into the pilot hood drops right in place too many people tell me that that won't come apart but and you could see right here I mean what I want to do is just hit this with a little bit of this spray because the problem here is that this won't turn it's just stuck it's supposed to snap off the tip and then be able to turn but it doesn't so so I just put a little bit if it wanted to move it wanted to there got a little bit not too much but it's nice when you don't have to turn the whole pilot tubing to get it off but <clears throat> I also don't want to damage it. Work it a little. Because it doesn't look like the tip broke off when it was new. So when they put it in, like, let's see. 
See how that rotates and the tip isn't? It snaps off once you get it tight enough. It compresses on. Okay, whatever. There we go. I just snapped the tip off. Now it rotates and the tip stays in place. It's exactly what it's supposed to do. It just never, when it was put on, never snapped that tip off. So here we go. We got our pilot. Always make sure the orifice is in. Now it's easier for me to thread this in and out. Pilot orifice didn't fall. Okay. All right. Let me get the thermal couple in place. And then I could, let's see, this, when it's tight, sits this way, which means this comes back like this. And the pilot was burning, actually it was burning. Here's this. It's kind of strange, it's backwards compared to most, but it was burning just like this so you attach it really slowly <laughs> I'm kidding hmm. there's one these screws here can really sometimes be a challenge to line them up they're just always fun and yeah, you could use a punch all, hold the one in place. Just gonna sit it right in the hole. Take my driver. And that lined up pretty easy. It was like, oh, you wanna say I'm hard to do? I'm gonna show everybody you're a liar. And I'm gonna be like one, two, three, in. The other one, I'm surprised. He's scattered across the floor somewhere. So it's, can't go far. There's a little tiny screw. So. But I did put up a big fight with that one piece. So, there it is. Somehow fell in my wrench. Never give up, you'll find anything you drop onto you. Or in your hand, or in your pocket. You'll find it. If it was here, it's here. It's not gonna go anywhere. Nah, that, that, that. Now this guy's like, nah, I'm not. First one, we, we wanted to cooperate. This one, nah, we thought we were gonna cooperate. Why? Why do you want your job to be easy? There we go, right? Okay, it's in. Okay, in. Like that I want. Seven sixteenths. And we do want this tight so it doesn't leak because it is a compression fitting. Okay, good. That's in. Thermal couple. Now I won't need to use that top piece that whoever was here last time used. And it comes with, maybe not, unless I just threw it away in the box, but usually it comes with that little clip that somebody put up here. Someone asked, finger tight? Yeah, finger tight. So you gotta do this side. This side you're just supposed to snug in enough because you need this piece to be sitting far enough in and making a connection with the gas valve. Okay, we're gonna pop him in. And we're gonna tighten him in. Look, he goes in perfectly right now. Oh, still there. Threads might be a little messy. But that could also be where to stop him. Yeah, that's where it stops, so it's fine. Because he's not going to fall apart, so 
bring this back so it's in the direction where I am. Put this here. Back far enough that it goes into the track and back. Let's take the middle one. I apologize about that noise. Same thing. They're all different how these go in, so. And we got one more to go in. Whew. Always fun laying on your side. Laying down on the job. Getting paid to lay down. Except for you're not laying down somewhere clean, so. Don't know how glamorous it is. But it's okay. So I make a living. Oh! Get my food on my table. And it's a good living. I don't live like a rock star, but I live like me. Right? I just gotta live our life. Okay, so now we got this over here. These clips that my flashlight's magnet seem to pick up. Those are supposed to hold... Somebody lost the pilot screw at one point. So I'll put that in my bag. Always good to have spares. I just dropped it and lost it. I'll find it. I believe in hoarding parts like that. Because they come in handy. So now let's see. This is a 3.8. This is for my thermal couple. This is 7. Yeah, straight. Always go straight and do it by hand. Don't want it stripped out. <clears throat> those are the times where you see me fighting with them when somebody probably stripped them out. Then you got to worry about gas leaks by the pilot tubing. And then you're trying to kill it and crank it in. So you don't have to go to your truck, get tubing and replace it. Most of the time you could crank these tight enough. You'll fix the little bit of a leak, but okay, snug, good. That's it. I don't need to kill it. Thermal couple is sitting here. Woo hoo, wah, wah, wah. Okay, so now. Roll it, roll it up. Twist it over. Okay, now bring this this way, bring this this way, there's a lot of standing pilot units out there, so they work really well, they have very minimum problems when maintained correctly, key thing though is maintenance, and if they're not maintained, well, then they may not work correctly and this is probably why it was very loose is the spacing in here not the easiest to get your wrench in but it's a small little boiler tight okay now i'm gonna have to adjust this pilot this is the set screw to adjust the pilot is right here so i'm gonna have to make adjustments on that so come on Come on, focus, focus. Okay, right there. So you see I have a lot of space in there to work with. So let's see if I can even fit a screwdriver in there, if I should take the side wall off or what I should do here. I'll probably get my nubby in there. Get the little nubby guy in guy. He will work good. Cause I mean the bit alone will fit. I just don't know if I'll have enough with my fingers. To turn it. Come on. Nah, not strong enough. I'm not strong enough, but I mean, I won't get him. Eh, maybe. Let's see. Okay, that's it. That's all I have to do. Just loosen it enough. Now I need a microscopic screwdriver. One of those little thermostat things. All right, 
Okay, so this way I could adjust the pilot flame. What I have to do, it's hard for me to show, but turn this just to where the pilot, it says pilot on here, and then with this red button, I hold, it sends gas over here. So now, let me, we're lit. I'm gonna have to hold it for like 30 seconds to a minute, just until you get that thermocouple hot and it stays on. So let's see. Oh, I didn't have to hold it long at all. It's still on. So now, where is it? What's the size of this flame? Oh, the adjustments were really... Seem to... I gotta get closer to see. Then again, it's not like it doesn't make major differences. So, let's get myself in here. Get him laying on my side. Right on the Osbestiosos tiles. That's right, the tiles are made of asbestos. Everything is. There we go. Turn that pilot down. <laughs> Can't really go much more. Too much? Not really, that's good. Right there. Just enough flame on the tip. So it's getting the heat of the pilot, but it's not like cooking. Because you don't want it cherry red. You don't want the heat going back down where it's heating and cooking the base. You just want the flame on it. Just enough. Makes it hot and sends a millivolt signal back to the gas valve. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video on maintaining a gas section of a standing pilot system. And what happens if the pilot is burning too big, the damage it can do to the thermocouple. It's not expensive. I mean, everything here is covered under the labor or the thermocouple for whatever, the 30 bucks or whatnot. Who cares? So, I mean, there you go, though. Now, power back. And we're up and going. We're looking for a pretty much almost blue flame for proper combustion. Now, remember, I stirred up a lot of dust in there. So at first it's not blue, it's gonna be more orange. And now, there you go, now we're going pretty blue. A little orange flickering, but who cares? But it's going mostly blue now. Because all the dust is burning out of there and now it's just gas burning. And like I said, you want the blue off the burner. Like that, you got a good burn. Well guys, till next time, I'm out.